Hi, my name is Dan Martin, and I'm the Director of Instruction at Rustic Canyon Golf Course in Moorpark, California. Today I'm going to talk about swing plane. You've been probably told that your swing is too steep or too flat, and you've got to get your swing on plane. And I'm going to suggest a different approach. One of the cornerstones of my, my coaching is you learn skill by developing new skills. So you're going to become more aware of your swing plane, which is our cornerstone, our focus skill, by learning different swing planes. And then you'll know more where that kind of ideal straight swing plane is. So here's an exercise I'd like you to do. I'm going to teach you four different planes or four different possibilities of movement. And I want you to be able to do them all. I want you to do them slowly in a practice swing. And I also want you to practice them with a golf ball. So here they are. The first one is what we're going to call outside and then outside in. So you're going to deliberately make the plane go steep and up and then swing right back down on that same plane. The next plane we're going to call inside, then inside out. So you're going to go back inside, wrap it around your body, but then try to carve that same feeling coming right back down. And then we're going to get into the loops. I'm going to use Jim Furyk because he's such a popular looping golf swing. So we're going to first do the reverse Furyk. So the reverse Furyk goes inside and then also what is called over the top. And then we're going to do the authentic Jim Furyk, which actually goes outside and then loops back behind and comes down and through. So those are your four different possibilities. If you can learn to hit golf shots with all those possibilities, you're going to gain something that's very, very precious. Awareness of where your golf club is on the way up and the way down. And along the way, you might surprise yourself. Intending to do one of those, you might find your straight swing. Okay? So your straight plane, which looks something like this, exists right between all those possibilities. And that is the key to learning how to own your golf swing. Master the possibilities to find what you do best.